Dr. Uh, Marathi Ma'am to address the gathering. Uh, Ma'am is also one of the very strong motivators. I uh, hope like uh, we'll, she'll address the gathering here with her inspiring speech. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Swati, for giving an intro, and that has given some vibration to them. So thank you for that. Respected principal of University College of Arts and Social Sciences, Professor Ganesh Garu, my daughter, Professor Surya, Professor Talak Sultana, Madam, EC member, Dr. Swati, Dr. P. Swati, Dr. Lavanya and others, and a motivating lady in front of me, Professor Lakshmi, Madam, and other friends in the audience. I just wanted to introduce you why this is called an International Women's Day. One thing is clear that we, not only who are sitting in this hall, nor who are residing in this Hyderabad, nor not only in Telangana, not only in India, across the globe, women are facing problems. That's why a day has been created to know the status of women in the society. So in 1911, this movement started from Austria, a European community. So every year, and gender equality statistics will be taken out to know how equal are both men and women in the society. So if you take the status of 2022, which has been taken across 156 countries around the globe, you will be surprised to know the status of India there. That is inequality between men and women. Do you know the rank where we are standing? We are occupying 140th number. That indicates how much disparity we have in our society. That makes us more conscious, that needs more awareness among both men and women to know how to break this bias. As when we see what types of empowerment we want, because we are hearing from morning about women empowerment. If we just look at what is empowerment, it is of six types. One is social empowerment, political empowerment, economic empowerment, physical empowerment, educational empowerment, and finally, emotional empowerment. I feel emotional empowerment is much, much, much more important than other things. Emotional empowerment only can be achieved by intelligence, by decision making. So I appeal all of you to take right decisions at right time. Only a decision will change our life, right? So we have to understand that it is not only we who are facing the problem, not only we who are facing the challenges. So we have to be open to listen to others. So if we have succeeded in any small challenge, Please share with your fellow friends. Also, whenever you are taking a decision, be intelligent. To be intelligent and to take wise decision, education is much more important. That's why we are celebrating. That's why we wanted to share with you and we insist on attending the classes. Again, we'll come to the same point that 
attending the classes will not only give you a certificate but you have to have emotional intelligence as well in everyday life so to take a decision we need intelligence we need knowledge so please be wise in taking the decisions today we can say that we have political power we have social status and morning also our honorable vice chancellor was saying 60% or 70% students are ladies or women candidates in usmania university but how many of them are having the capacity or capability of being a part of decision makers in whatever role they may be as we all know yesterday also we have seen that all of us know that women are multitaskers we are there but are we able to take a decision are we having a power to take the decision that is what is empowerment is please try to listen to the people who have changed the society that is the reason that is the reason i have to inform you we have conducted international webinar on voices unheard breaking the silence in 2020 september we want to know from all the other countries also who has achieved a identity in the society whether they were not facing any challenges or problems in their lives starting from the unesco chairperson i have to tell you that we have invited unesco chairperson professor bhavani rao to inaugurate our webinar we have asked her to share her journey how she has reached to that level she also narrated that she also faced many problems in her life but she was strong enough she has taken a wise decision at right time and she could succeed in her journey so also we have also invited pro vice chancellor of an australian university she also narrated her journey and that got an inspiration for us i personally feel that all of us will have challenges or problems in our life whatever it may be in whatever role it may be that we may others may or may not be able to solve but when we come to know that others are having a bigger challenge than us that will make us comfort that will make us a step ahead so please try to listen to others experiences don't close your doors try to be open to listen to others who are successful there are people who are changers in this society so please listen to them take wise decisions also try to help and have some sympathy towards your fellow mates who are suffering please i think this will make us a better society all my friends as i am telling you it is not the gender male or female when women try to stand or grow a bit high when men can come down a little bit then only we can break this bias so we are aiming for that society i think let us start from our university let us start from our arts college as we all are standing before you to express or give you confidence that we all are here for you whether it is one to one dialogue or in a group we are ready we will help you we will support you but be genuine and be positive in your way then we are there that is why i feel you have to come regularly to have friendship with those who can inspire you those can motivate you so please be change makers in the society be the leaders in making the society brighter again i emphasize that we all are here in whatever capacity you want to support you to help you 
in whatever challenges or problems you are facing. Thank you for the organizers for giving me this opportunity. All the best.